Hey guys, welcome back to Tic Tacs 2. My name is Ayat and today we're going to go through how to run Windows in your Mac OS X. I can't believe I just said that. It's just disgusting. Now, getting bootcamp started up or getting Windows on your machine started up using bootcamp was easy to people who understood technology, but it's not easy for the common man. Why do I say this? You've got to download the software, you've got to download Windows, you've got to put it into a bootable USB drive, you've got to then partition your disk drive using Bootcamp, install your Windows using the bootable drive, and then you'll be able to install your Windows after installing the drivers necessary to do so. That's just step one. If you want to use Windows, you've got to boot out of your Mac OS and then boot back in with Windows. Pretty simple, right? Except that you don't want to be able to do that all the time. It gets annoying. Why? The reason is I use Mac OS a lot, right? And I only use Windows for those applications that only run on Windows. So what that means is that I have to take files from the Mac platform, transfer them onto a disk drive, and then boot up my Windows, and then boot it up. And when I do, use the thumb drive, load up the file, do my work and get back out because I don't really, I'm not really a big fan of Windows. Now, it's all right. It's actually really cool that I can have two OSs running on the same machine. The problem is it gets annoying very quickly when you gotta get work done. This is where Parallels comes in. Parallels lets you load up your Windows OS within your Mac OS. A bit complex. Let me break it down for you. When you are in your Mac OS X, on your desktop, you can run Parallels 15 and you can run Windows directly on the same desktop. Now, that's awesome, right? Now, Parallels 15 has a lot of features in it, but we're only going to feature three right now. Three of my favorite. One is an installation. Now, granted, when I actually installed the software, it automatically detected that I already had a Windows Bootcamp installation on. It just loaded it up like magic. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to do any settings. It just loaded it up and that was excellent. Now, when they say that installing Windows 10 from Parallels on your Mac machine is easy, I'm going to take their word for it because it was really easy. So that's number one. Kudos to that. It makes life so much easier. And the boot up time and the way that it boots up is really, really cool, simple and fast free. And this is how it looks like. All right, so basically, this is the control center, and this is everything that you need to know with regards to Parallels 15 settings. It's all in here, but I just wanted to show you this, right? You just double click this baby. Oh, sorry, you click on that, and it will kickstart the virtual machine. That's Windows loading right now. And we'll just run the clock and see exactly how long it loads. My computer, my laptop, it's actually an old laptop. So it does take time for you to load this up. Um, but don't take that as uh, a, a benchmark. My laptop is like 2015. So it's it's kind of old. But Parallels 15 is geared towards Catalina, OS X Catalina. And that will definitely help on all kinds of levels. So yeah, that's all that you got to do to run Windows while still running your Mac OS X. And there you go. Now you have Windows running directly on your Mac OS X. Less than 90 seconds and it's so easy to use. Um, now the second thing that I really like about Parallels is something called the drag and drop feature or the copy and paste feature. Now it's been existing in previous Parallels uh, releases but this is the first time I'm hearing of it and I really kind of like it. Why? I told you before right? Working between OSS for different files. Now you can just drag and drop the file from different OSS and it's it's really cool. It makes life my life a lot easier so I'm definitely loving this feature. You might be hearing the um, fan running from my laptop a little bit, but hey, you know what? It's an old laptop, forgive it its weaknesses. Um, so this is the Windows machine, virtual machine that it is right now. And uh, this is the exact tool that I wanted to show you, right? The drag and drop tool. So say for example, I needed a file from my, that's currently on my Apple. And I want to just move this here 
in 2D. There you go. That's it. That is literally all you've got to do. And the third thing that I really like about the Parallels 15 release is they included something called Parallels Access. Now, Parallel Access is basically a remote access tool for your computers. So you, as long as you have your license key, you can install Parallels on any of your Macs and with your iPhone or your iPad, you can actually control them remotely. Helps me, helps everyone else. That's because I kind of like access to my files and sometimes, even though I work primarily out of the cloud, sometimes there's just files that's on the computer that I just need to be able to bring up for whatever reasons. And this, being packaged into Parallels 15, to me, is really great. This is how it looks like. So it's a bit hard for me to show you this right now about how it works, but basically, it's an app called Parallels Access. Click that, it'll give you the options. So I've got my MacBook Pro over here, as you can see, and I'm going to connect to my MacBook Pro right now. So there you go, there's the remote connection, um, and that's it. I am now in charge of my computer through the remote access tab it's actually very excellent i can do whatever i need to do um, makes life so much easier these are the folders in my finder so i can actually see what's actually on my desktops um, my files a really excellent way of doing things so you can also choose exactly which app you want to choose so let's say for example i want to launch my vlt and there you go, VLT is up. And that is how Parallels Access actually works. Very simple, very cool. Can't wait to use this once I'm overseas and I need some files. Now we've got three licenses to Parallels 15 to give out to you guys. Now, you gotta do three things. One, you gotta like this video. Two, you've gotta actually subscribe to our channel. And three, you've gotta answer this question, which is, when did Apple introduce Bootcamp? Leave your answer in the comment section below. And if you get it, we'll get in touch with you. That simple, right? Now the truth is, it's just too much for me to cover in this one release. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to produce more reviews on this particular software release down the line and you can watch out for that. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. Remember, like, subscribe us.